Sup Nation, welcome to the Card Fighters Journal once again. I'm Garb, and first things first, I want to give Zach Zag a thank you slash return shout out thing or something. Uh, he did a little video on his channel promoting my channel. Um, I think it was, it went up yesterday at the time of recording. I've gotten 12 or 15 or 18 new subscribers at this current point. So that is awesome. So I would like to thank you very much for doing that. It's nice to see that my channel is going to get some more growth. Uh, thanks to the generosity of other people, which is very nice to see. First things first, we're going to talk about some revealed stuff. It's going to be awesome. Um, on the day of when I posted the last week one, there was uh, Shadow Paladin, a generic one that was revealed. Uh, there was a bit of a debate argument thing that ended up happening in one of the groups on Facebook that I'm with. So I'll just go over it now and see what you guys think about it. Uh, it's a uh, cursed witch of the something Eden something ish. Uh, basically, she gets plus three thousand for attacking the Vanguard, ten k ten k base, some simple stuff there. But Lunar Break two, when you are attacked, when something, when she is attacked, you can retire two units, counterblast two, and retire any one of your opponent's rear guards that isn't boosting or attacking. So what that means is you can kill anything that isn't a part of the attack that is currently attacking you because that would then change the um, damage calculations and all that kind of stuff and determining on how much boost and etc and all that kind of garbage um, or there would be confusion upon that so they decide to go a different route or something I don't know but yeah you can counter blast two kill two units and kill basically anyone their rear guards however your opponent chooses when to activate this because they have to attack your vanguard but it also means that if they don't want to lose something they have to not attack your vanguard, which is still very good. Uh, I believe the deck will be running bulb card, main, and stuff like that will generate like just pure card advantage. As that's going to be very important for the deck. You might even run like 6 draw and work it like that. So, I like the card personally. It's a good little anti meta card. Uh, it screws over Aquaforce royally because they can't use Revon's effect if they don't have 3 front rows rested. And if they're trying to push you hard, they need to be attacking your vanguard. And if you have Eden, then you're just going to pop one of their front rows. And then, uh, no, don't have to guard your vanguard anymore because it doesn't have a crit. Yay. There's a lot of other mashups that it can screw over as well. Um, and just like kill any important card that you want to keep around uh, if you want to be attacking the vanguard. So it makes your opponent think on what they want to attack and what they want to do, which is also very good to like give your opponent options. It's the same rule with Dragonic Overlord. If you give your opponent an option, they're going to probably misplay with it. Uh, the other revealed cards are Dark Irregulars. We've got Dimension Creeper, which was used in the anime. Um, I don't think it's a confirmed effect yet, but from what it looks like, it is um, you move this card from the soul to the drop zone, or when it's soul blast, I believe you just move it uh, it's an insole ability, I believe is what what it will be, and then you can soul charge too. So, you, so it's in the soul, drop it, soul charge too. Uh, as in the anime, you can use Reishi, put all of them in, uh, put three of them in, then soul blast uh, all three, and then soul charge six, which is pretty cool. It's also a seven k base from what we see in the anime, which is very good as well. Instead of having a crappy six k thing, we get an awesome seven k thing, which is very nice. Then there is. Master of the Fifth Element, which is, I think, Reiji reincarnated or like a second go of doing uh, Blade Wing Reiji because it looks very similar to that and Emblem Master. Also, as an effect, it's very similar to Emblem Master as well. Um, it's on here Vanguard, Count Blast 1, Soul Charge 3, but it's uh, it's still Vanguard only, but it's a great 3 with, um, while it only has 10k power, it's still a great 3, so you're more likely to get this skill off. Oh, excuse me. Uh, his other ability is Lunar Break 1, and while you have 10 or more cards in your soul, I believe it is all of your rear guards get plus 3,000, and that's just a continuous ability. It might be all your units or all your rear guards, I'm not sure. I'll be leaving a link to CMD in the description down below, so you can check it out as well. Um, I like that a lot. Like, it's really cool. You can break it on top of Dantalion and do some cool stuff. And, yeah, it gives you a new magic number, I think, for how the new Dark Regular stuff is going to work. Uh, 10 seems to be the magic number for what you want to aim for. And it should be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the Monarchetype because they've got a few things here and there, but they haven't really done a lot with it. 
So I am looking forward to seeing, um, basically what I'm looking forward to is the Mon Cross Ride, because that's what they're seeing to be hinting at with the Amon archetype. And that, and like, Dentalion and Marshall the Fifth, that one, don't have a mod in their name, so there's like, why are you doing this? There's no real point to it, so there should be some new mod cards, and maybe a reprint of the Demon of Marquis Amon. Maybe in double rare, like they did the same with Block 8. Just a bit of speculation. Uh, next, we shall review the anime, which, well that episode was a bit weird. Um, some random tangent, yeah, Leon picked up the paper and he went and fought the Dr. Eagles, dude. Yeah. And, yeah, that Dark Regulus guy was, like, really weird. Like, ah, I've got this eye here and stuff from my arm. It's cool. It wasn't drawn on with a crown at all. I'm saying. Doesn't really that good. And, like, he's got Master of Fifth Element. It's, like, awesome. It's like, ooh, when I can Soul Blast thing and Soul Charge six times one turn and make Doreen the Thruster 33,000 power. Um, which is really cool that you can do that, like. Well, even if you can, like, you do them once a turn, Soul Charge 2, that'll make during the Thruster a 12k, which is uh, still really cool. So, yeah. Um, so, during the Thruster might become, like, a real good threatening booster for the Dark Regulars to have. It is probably one of their best, best cards currently, uh, still, and will probably end up being one of their best cards, just because of how Dark Regulars Soul Charge and all that. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, I guess, man. Um, and in the anime, it's like, yay, Leon, my win, because I'm awesome, and hey, let's have lunch. Yeah. And it's like, oh, supernatural, but I couldn't see, I know the weather, because I watch the news, and the weather, man, is always right. No! Oh, animes is animes is animes. Uh, this coming week is apparently the debut of League Joker, apparently, but I don't believe Bush Road right for a second ever. Ever! I will never believe. Not until it's actually revealed. Uh, the preview was just uh, uh, something about a divine dragon being revealed or something like that. Or well, it wasn't divine, but one of. something along those lines. Mystery. A mystery dragon, I believe, is the name of the episode. And it just has Noki looking like he's possessed and he fights Archie again. Finally, for the first time since like the fifth episode of the season. So that'll be cool. I am not 100% certain on it being Ling Turka because it is seen that he plays Narakami in the episode. So we may be seeing some lock mechanics. Maybe if um, Ling Turka can be cross clan. Because there have been, has been speculation that Ling Turka is just a cross clan clan. If that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. Where you just flash things in and out. But since there's a whole trial deck for it, that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, so I'm more thinking that it might be uh, sealed unlimited dungaree thing uh, that and it might be uh, have something to do with Link Joker or something like that I don't know or it might just be the plot actually turning up and Link Joker doesn't actually do anything until Kai shows up with Link Joker or something along those lines I don't know I'm just rambling at this point so there's that and that's pretty much the vlog for this week. I don't think of anything else to talk about, so I'm just going to wrap it up. And it's not going to be 15 minutes like last time. Hallelujah! Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your feedback in the doobly doo down below. Leave your recommendations for what you want to see. Uh, any suggestions for like dick profiles, fights, etc. And we'll try our best to get them sorted and get them all done for you guys. We'll have a video this weekend, probably, hopefully, maybe, of a regional update for our two teams that are going. I'm not part of them, unfortunately. But we do have two teams that will be going to the team regional tournament in Brisbane on Sunday. Hopefully we can get a win in and they'll get a free pay trip to Singapore for the team league championships. I think... It I think that actually is like the final round in Singapore, I would assume so, because it's freaking Singapore. And yeah, there's that. We're also starting to look at nationals. We're probably going to have six guys going to nationals. We may have more, we may not. It all depends. So do look forward to the road to nationals once the date is actually announced. We may actually um, start doing a little bit of a segment thingy where we just talk about crap on the road to nationals and other such fun things. So yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Garth, this has been Cardfight Nation, and we'll see you in the next one.